What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex. Welcome back to our Pirates of the Caribbean community series, a community series that appears every so often now on our channel, and that's really ever since we obviously got disappointed by a lack of Pirates of the Caribbean announcement. Now, you know, like I said in the past videos, which and I do really appreciate you guys, as always, I appreciate you guys still watching these and still sticking with us. You guys mean the world to us, and ultimately, I want to continue to make these videos every so often just to kind of, you know, provide you guys some content because you guys truly have rocked that have been with us so long. Long. What I want to talk about here is a little bit different. You know, really over the last several months, we've only talked about, you know, what could happen with an announcement, right? Like, will we get an announcement? What happens after that, right? Like, what do we expect to see? But now that we don't, I was thinking, okay, what's a different kind of uh, discussion video we could really have together? And one of the ones that I came up with was, you know, we talked about a lot at the end of Pirates 5, right after Pirates 5 came out. We had, you know, I mean, my God, we had like 15 to 20 videos, you know, bombarding you guys. But one of the things we talked about was if it ends here, what does it do to Jack Sparrow's legacy? And we've talked about that kind of on and off pretty much, but it's kind of just been settled on that like, okay, well, you know, he's fired. He's not coming back, Johnny Depp. Like, and now at this point, even if we get an announcement in two years at D, uh, D23 or D23, however you want to say it, of 2021, even if we get an announcement, the odds of it being a Pirate 6, the odds of it being with Jack Sparrow are, I would say, less than 1%. I would truly put it at that dire of a percentage. And so the question is, like, if we're all ready now to say, all right, it's not going to happen. And I know a lot of people will say, you know, Pirates dies with Jack. And I get that. Okay, so here's where I'm coming at. I understand that you guys don't want Pirates without Jack. I understand that Jack Sparrow is Pirates to a lot of you. Totally cool. That's not really what I want to talk about. Let's agree for now. Let's say that I for, like agree with that. Let's get that completely out of the way. Okay, next part is now that we know that it's not happening, and you could debate if Pirates is dead or if Pirates could ever succeed without him or not, whatever. We have the ending of Pirates 5. That is now, if you think about it, we've had those five movies. They've spanned you know, a, a very, very long time, even you could say more than one generation of, of people phenomenal right and i mean yeah for as bad as four was and five you know a lot of people were like iffy on it even two and three a lot of people some people still think one is the best one so then by that standard that means all the rest were were lower quality than it so we have a lot of different people and a lot of different opinions on where pirates has gone for the five movies but whatever okay we got five and that's it that was the ending of Jack Sparrow sailing to his beloved horizon on the Black Pearl, sailing away with that shot. You know, the camera kind of comes behind the ship. We used it actually in our goodbye video. Is that okay? Is that like a good ending to you guys? Think about it. Because, you know, again, we talked about that a lot. Like, would we be satisfied with that ending? And Tyler and I were not. I think where I ultimately come down to it now is like, well, I guess that's what we have to deal with. And so because of that, it's not the worst ending in the world. I just wish they would have, like, it's tough because we know from interviews, we know from a lot of stuff that, like, that wasn't intended. Although they said, like, the, you know, the final journey or whatever, you know, whatever that tagline was that we talked a lot about even back then, back in 2017. For all the promotion that, like, this was the last journey, it was the beginning of the end. They were fully ready to make a second film, a, a, a six, obviously, with that, with the, you know, the, and that's the, that's the other part. That's where we could also make another video on in the future, and maybe I will, is, like, the whole Davy Jones thing now, that's just, that goes down now in the legacy books of movies that try to set up the sequel that will never get the sequel. You know how there's always lists of movies that try really hard to get the next one like thrown at you and then they never end up happening. Now, you know, sadly, and this it sucks. I never wanted and I never I never thought that Pirates would be one of those films that we get an ending like that and it's like we never get to see it fulfilled. We never get to see it realized. Now maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that 1% chance that I'm saying now, maybe it's a 50, 60, 70% chance in two years and maybe it does happen. I mean, it's possible. It's very unlikely, but it's possible. But that's, you know, that's the after credit scene. So we'll, again, I want to make a video on that. That'll be the next video I make. But the Jack Sparrow ending, the ending of the actual movie, and a lot of people will leave, most people won't see the after credit scene. Most people will leave the theaters. So, you know, the actual ending of the movie is Jack just sailing away and we get to see the Black Pearl and like the symbolism there and like how nice it is that he does get the pearl back. It's great, but like it happens every time. Like in four, he kind of gets the pearl back, right? Because he's walking. I think four is a better ending, truly, 
for the symbolism of what Jack is saying in his like monologue, it's better than five. I like five. Like I like for what it is. I like five. I don't love it as like an ending for Jack Sparrow forever because again, like it's like. You did the same thing you pretty much did at the end of three for the most part. You did what you did at the end of one. Like, it's the same thing. Like, he always gets the pearl back. He's always sailing. I know, I know, like, not every single time. But, like, the same kind of concept always tends to happen. So, it's repetitive. And it doesn't, I think, hold the same weight as just something. I don't know. And now, I don't know what they could have done. There's a lot of very talented. You guys are all very talented at coming. uh, Storytellers. Tyler's a very talented storyteller. You guys could probably all come up with better endings than what they did. Not that their ending was awful but you guys and and again i don't blame the movie i don't blame five i don't blame those directors because they thought they could do it again they thought there could be a six and i'm sure there would have been more a definitive like by jack like let's all kind of cry because if you watch five you're not like crying at like maybe you shed a tear for barbosa but for the jack ending like to say bye to jack for that movie you were like well I'll still hold out hope that we'll see him again in six and that that will be it. So, like, we're not, like, tearing up being like, wow, this is the end of an icon. One of the greatest characters in film history is gone now. We don't have that, and I think it's hard to even put that into context now that if I were to, right now, after I'm done with this video, if I were to turn on and watch five, I don't know if I would be way more sad knowing that, like, this was the last time. I don't think the scene has enough power to it that'll get me that much, you know what I mean? So it's one of those situations where it's like they thought, like, a six, another movie where the whole movie could have been like, this is it. This is it. This is what we've been building for. Jack is done at the end of this. And we kind of have the whole movie to kind of process like, oh, dear, like this is the end of it. That, I think, would hit us a whole lot more than what we got. And, again, that's not necessarily the movie's fault. That's just the circumstances of not getting another one. But, again, I actually think the fourth one, because the fourth one kind of came out and, yeah, made a lot of money. But even at the time, I don't know if they – I mean, weren't there rumors that they did want to do another trilogy and that was the start of it but then obviously got slowed down? So I guess you could say, like, they knew they were going to make more films after four. And, again, there was the uh, end end credit scene with that with Angelica that was just a complete waste and always – as well will be a complete waste i don't care about that one as much the davy jones one bugs me more but we have that but you know jack walking on the beach and kind of saying like he will live on forever even though he can't drink even like he's not going to go after another fountain of youth he didn't drink from the fountain of youth he won't live on he him personally he won't live but what he stands for his legacy that will always be around that i think is awesome i loved that line and when he's walking away and it's it's, it's pulling away from the beach I think that's a phenomenal scene. I think that's a phenomenal line. I think that's one of the best lines in all five Pirates. I truly do. For as bad as that movie is, I think that's a phenomenal ending. Because he kind of gets the pearl. He'll get a bunch of ships. Who knows what he's going to do with them. But then we also kind of like, yeah, you know what? This was, I mean, this was an awful film, but, like, the legacy of Jack Sparrow, it'll, like, it'll always be around. Our children will know who he is. Their children, he'll always be around Disney, like, stuff like that. That's what that scene means, and I think it's, it's a phenomenal scene. So I think that holds more weight. And, and maybe that's just because he talked more. Maybe he needs to talk more. I don't know what my ideal ending of Jack would be, um, but I'd say four is better than five. And, and, again, like, are we okay with five's ending now that we kind of have to be? We're kind of forced to be accepted with what we got. And I don't think it's the greatest thing in the world. I think it's okay. I think it's good for what it is. You know, if you look at it and say, well, we're going to have a six, and, well, they're just ending five. And the Elizabeth and Will scene was really nice. Like, those kind of scenes, um, you know, Karina with Barbosa, like that whole, like, the ending in general was really, really solid. But the whole Jack thing is like, okay, well, we're saying goodbye to him, but we'll see him again in, like, four years. But, now, you know, but now it, the odds of that are, are pretty low. So I, I think it just holds a lot less weight. I don't think it has the magic that it did. I don't think it's the greatest ending in the world. But, guys... Let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Like, are you okay with that ending? What would you have changed it to? What would you have wanted if we got a Pirate 6? What would you have wanted a Pirate 6 ending to actually be? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel podcast. Now hit that bell icon. And again, you know, we still make these videos. It's just me. Tyler's not in them anymore. Um, We're not going to make them every other week. We're going to be going on a little bit of a break over the next couple weeks, but we will be back eventually. There'll still be Pirates videos for as long as this channel is around. I think there'll always be Pirates videos in one way or the other. So you can look out for 
continued coverage very, very soon. I truly do appreciate all of you guys watching. I hope to see you all on the next video.